What's up, people, man? It is your boy, Spaces, man. We back again with another video, man. Today, bro, we are diving into this brand new release from Baby Audio, man. We are taking a look at Humanoid. And this one is actually audio manipulation. Now, a lot of this is for vocals. And so we're going to use some, de some uh, vocal examples today but man humanoid definitely is a vocal game changer man i'm saying it today definitely so let's take a look at it now you know man as we get started make sure that you like subscribe and all the good stuff that come along with that uh, we're going to definitely jump di dive right into this. We're not going to be before you long. And this is Humanoid, man. This thing here, I love the way this sound. I just got this. Shout out to Baby Audio for sending this over. Uh, matter of fact. Uh, so I, I'm, I want to just kind of break down how this all works here. And so you can really see what we're looking at. So I'm going to just kind of... Play this track here. I'm gonna mute this, the vocal. I want you to just kind of hear what we got. All right, so that's the track, man. So I just added this little vocal here. I'm gonna turn this off for right now. And I'm gonna unmute this so you can hear the dry vocal. So that's the that's the track itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up real quick here. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna add it now. This the one thing I love about Baby Audio is that the, they're user friendly. This is very simple. It's laid out. You see exactly what you're looking at, and you just kind of go from there. So if we look at this, you have your pitch. This is I would like to call this like pitch correction because it definitely definitely corrects pitch. Uh, you can actually select the key here. This is what they call utility. We're going to get into that. This is what they call filter. Well, not what they call filter, but this is the filter and the effects. Now, there's five different features that you can use in Humanoid. Number one is the vocal transformer, which allows you to morph and modulate the vocal tracks. Now, and this is in real time. You can do this in real time. Uh, also, they have a format shifting that you can shift the uh, format to change the character of the voice without affecting the pitch, which is like the dopest part of this whole thing is how it does the vocal without uh, changing the way that it sounds, the pitch of the actual audio itself. There's a granular synthesize uh, right in the middle of this uh, humanoid. There's a built-in effect, which is the reverb, delays, distortion, other stuff like that. And then, of course, the presets. So what we're going to do is I just want to kind of go over the presets of it. I don't want to get like technical into this. I, most people just want to hear what it sounds like. And so that's what we're going to do, man. We're going to dive right into this right here. As you hear, I'm going to go ahead and solo the vocal here. Now, if I'm going through this to try to find the best sound for the vocal for this particular track, then I'm just, I'm thinking in my head what the actual track sound like and what would sound good with that. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to just kind of go through a couple of these to see what we sound like. Now, what you will notice here is that there's factory and then there's user. These are the ones that you can actually save and create yourself and it'll save into the user file here. But, uh, and the factory is just kind of, the presets are just kind of set up. You have the tuner, you have a uh, vocal harmony. There is synth, there's dryish. Uh, I like dryish. Dryish is, is the dopest one, but the other ones are more creative. Uh, there's the instruments and the users at the bottom. So we're just gonna kind of just scroll through here and see what it sounds like. Right 
Now, the dope part about this is that I can come here and change the actual pitch. And now it will fit more of the sound because this song is in A minor or this particular track is in A minor. You can quantize the actual pitch correction. You can robotify it, which make it more robot and you can format it. Also, you can come here. You can even change the range in the utility. You can add a de gate. You can smooth out the sound. I'm going to skip over here. You have the filter where you can actually filter the vocal within the humanoid itself, which I thought is really dope that you could do that. Usually, you have to do the effect like that or the filter like that on another channel normally. So you have that. You can even bring the back side of that. Right. You have your frequency and the width here. You have some width, widen, wobble. You can add some buffer to it. And you can freeze it. Which is cool. That is crazy. I love that. And of course, in the middle, you have the synthesize. So you can change how it sounds. Then you have the transform in the middle. All right. And you can have your stretch. Shape it. Change the octaves. So definitely like these little small sounds that, that you can add here to make the sound different. So we're just going to continue as we went over that. And of course, I got the sharp in. Uh, you can turn the percentage of the hotter. I mean, I'm not hotter or cold, but wet and dry. And then you have your output over here. So we're just going to go through, check out some different options. And you can really go deep diving into here. I'm <laughs> turning. That's dope. Now here go my favorite. Them dope, man. That one's pretty cool. Right? So, I'm going to choose, of course, I'm going to choose one of the dryish. And let's see. I like this one. This is like background vocals, right? Now I'm going to change this to a minor. Now I can change, I can stick it to a note. I can even use MIDI. And I can lock it, right? For this one, I'm just going to use a scale. Throw it a little, quantize off a little bit. That's dope. That's pretty cool. So now let's just see what it sounds like with the track. Now 
Now another little cool trick I like to do sometimes I come in here and add Let's just say like rum or something like that We'll add like something with a little reverb On there Now you got the So you have the vocal itself You have the humanoid and then you have the rum But it'd be cool To have like humanoid on the back end Of the reverb Let's use that. We'll choose that. So you got the humanoid on the front end. Right, and so you can add the you can take a little bit of the humanoid off. Of. Pretty cool, you know, just like some effects. You, you just play around with it, man. Um, you can also, of course, come here in the settings, you can definitely change the color. You can add tool tips, of course, that, and you can come over here add audio buffer all that good stuff man so there it is man this is definitely one that i will be using i'll be using this for sure i guarantee it i've had fun with it i've only had it like a couple days and i've definitely enjoyed uh what the sound that you can create from that now this is a a vocal that i just got from like splice or something like that but you can take any kind of vocal or any kind of instrument and just add and play around until you find something that you're looking for. So that's what we do, man. So definitely, man, I'm so glad to be back. It's been, seemed like it's been a while, but, but we got a bunch of videos coming, man. I, I've had them lined up. I just got to get them all edited and everything. But until the next video, man, I'll see y'all when I see you. Peace out. <laughs>